Evolution isn't always elegant. Sometimes it's flat-out bizarre. From scaly, armor-clad fish with scissor-like jaws to microscopic worms that eat and defecate through the same opening, nature's experiments have created creatures so strange you'd think they stumbled out of a sci-fi film. So, join us for today's video as we explore 15 times when evolution said, let's get weird. Number 15. Anomalocaris this beast of the Cambrian seas had dragonfly-like eyes and spiny arms built to grab anything that moved. Once a fossil mystery, it evolved into a streamlined marine hunter. Early finds only turned up its spiky front limbs, mistakenly identified as shrimp abdomens. Fossils of its mouth and body were misassigned to other creatures for years. Then, in the 1980s, paleontologists Whittington, Conway, and Briggs Put it all together, the grasping arms, circular mouth, and odd body all belonged to one animal. By the 1990s, further reconstructions showed a segmented swimmer with flaps, a tail fan, and compound eyes. Its eyes, similar to modern dragonflies, had over 24,000 lenses. It glided using lateral flaps and used hooked arms and a suction-capable mouth cone to grab soft-bodied prey. Once fragmented and misunderstood, Anomalocaris is now recognized as one of the first major predators, an evolutionary milestone that shaped early marine ecosystems and changed how we understand the Great Cambrian explosion. Number 14. Therizinosaurus this was a 40-foot-long herbivore with claws so big they could scare off even meat-eaters. Its story began in the 1940s, when paleontologists found giant claw bones in Mongolia's Nemect formation and assumed they belonged to a huge turtle. The name stuck, but the creature's real identity took years to unravel. Fossils from relatives like Bapiaosaurus helped reveal the truth a two-legged feathered dinosaur from the theropod group, usually home to carnivores. But these theropods shifted toward plant-eating, developing long necks, bulky torsos, and beak-like jaws. By the late Cretaceous, around 70 million years ago, Therizinosaurus had become one of the largest herbivores. It stood over 16 feet tall, stretched 30 to 40 feet long, and weighed several tons. Its curved claws reached nearly three feet, too delicate for combat, likely used to strip leaves, pull branches, or show dominance. Once mistaken for a turtle, then imagined as a predator, it became one of evolution's strangest plant eaters, an herbivore armed like a creepy monster. Number 13. Eretmorhypus it was a marine reptile with a bill like a platypus and eyes so small it likely hunted nearly blind. It swam the shallow seas of what is now Hubei province about 247 million years ago, during a time when marine life was recovering from Earth's worst extinction event. It belonged to a group of reptiles distantly related to ichthyosaurs. Many of them evolved into fast swimmers built to chase prey. But not this. It reached around 27 inches in length, had a stiff body unsuited for speed, and its skull featured a flat, duckbill-shaped snout covered in nerve canals. This strange snout likely acted like a sensor, similar to a modern platypus's bill, detecting vibrations or electric signals from hidden prey. Its wide, paddle-like flippers helped it drift across the seafloor, sifting through sand and mud. Eretmorhypus didn't chase its food. It specialized in subtle detection. In an ocean where brute force wasn't the only survival strategy, stealth and sensitivity paid off. Number 12. Quetzalcoatlus Quetzalcoatlus was a giraffe-sized reptile that flew like a small airplane. It was the unmatched ruler of the skies and proof that evolution can stretch flight to extremes. It all started with early pterosaurs, small to mid-sized flyers with hollow bones, elongated wings, and basic gliding skills. Over time, some of them evolved into Ajdarkids, a group made for precision hunting, with toothless, spear-shaped beaks, elongated necks, 
and powerful limbs. By the late Cretaceous, in what's now Texas, evolution gave rise to Quetzalcoatlus northropi, the largest flying animal ever discovered. Its wings spanned 36 to 39 feet, roughly the size of a small aircraft, and it stood as tall as a giraffe. Lightweight bones and a hyper-efficient breathing system kept its huge frame airborne. It likely launched into flight with a quadrupedal leap, propelling itself eight feet into the air before spreading those massive wings. On land, it likely stalked prey like a giant heron, turning from humble gliders into aerial giants of prehistoric skies. Number 11. Hallucigenia Hallucigenia was one of the most bizarre animals to emerge from the Cambrian period. Small, tubular, and covered in spines, it lived over 500 million years ago. Its fossils were found in the Burgess Shale of Canada and in China. It measured only 0.5 to 5.5 centimeters long, ranging from the size of a grain of rice to a crayon, and had ten pairs of spindly legs. The front few were plain, but the rest ended in claws. Above them were seven pairs of stiff, cone-like spines for protection. Scientists originally reconstructed hallucigenia upside down in the 1970s, believing the spines were legs and the legs were tentacles. That view held for years until fossils from China in 1991 flipped the script. The tentacles were actually legs, and the spines were dorsal armor. Later research revealed its head, mouth, tiny eyes, and even throat teeth. Hallucigenia, in reality, belonged to the Lobopodians, which are the relatives of velvet worms and arthropods. Number 10. Helicoprion this was nature's original underwater power tool. It swam the early to middle Permian seas, roughly 290 to 270 million years ago, and belonged to a lineage closer to today's chimeras than modern sharks. For a long time, we only knew it from a bizarre tooth spiral, originally thought to be a tailspine or dorsal fin. Then, in 2013, a rare fossil was CT scanned, revealing the spiral's true position in the lower jaw, a rotating blade used to capture prey. Over time, its jaw evolved into a cutting tool capable of snatching soft-bodied prey, likely cephalopods, from their shells before slicing them as the teeth rolled inward. The largest preserved whorl measured 22 inches across, pointing to a body length near 23 feet about the size of a modern basking shark. Helicoprion turned from a mysterious fossil into one of paleontology's strangest predators, thanks to its freakish spiraling jaw built for slicing through ancient seas. Number 9. Longisquama Longisquama insignis lived roughly 235 million years ago in what is now Kyrgyzstan during the mid to late Triassic. Its fossils were unearthed from the Matagen Formation, once a dense lakeside forest filled with insects, reptiles, and early amphibians. Researchers believe Longisquama was an arboreal insect eater, using sharp, recurved teeth to pierce through exoskeletons as it hunted among the trees. Its relatives were likely smaller reptiles adapted for climbing, but Longisquama's fame came from the odd, elongated structures projecting from its back. Each was curved near the tip like a hockey blade, stretching several inches long. These weren't just basic spines. They had internal layers and complex textures, hinting they served more than decoration. For decades, scientists debated their role. Were they gliding surfaces for parachuting between trees or early proto-feathers pointing toward avian evolution? Modern studies now place Longisquama among early diapsid reptiles with no direct link to birds. What's left is a strange Triassic climber with flamboyant dorsal displays, and still no clear answers. Number 8. Megarachne Megarachne once fooled the world into thinking it was a prehistoric spider the size of a dinner plate. Found in late Carboniferous riverbeds of Argentina, it was first described in 1980, 
Scientists thought it was a massive spider due to its body shape and eye tubercle, even naming it Megarachne cervini, giant spider. Based on its size, it would have dwarfed the largest modern tarantulas. But in 2005, after reviewing the original fossil and new specimens, researchers discovered the truth. It wasn't a spider at all. It was a eurypterid, or sea scorpion, though this one lived in fresh water. That reclassification changed everything. Unlike web-spinning spiders, Megarachne swept through riverbeds using bladed limbs, practicing what's called sweep feeding to collect small invertebrates from the sediment. What was once believed to be a huge land predator turned out to be a heavily armored aquatic hunter. Megarachne's mistaken identity serves as a reminder, sometimes even science can be fooled by its own fossils. Number 7. Saccharitis coronarius Saccharitis coronarius was a tiny marine organism from around 540 million years ago at the dawn of the Cambrian explosion. Just a millimeter long, about 0.04 inches, it wriggled through seafloor sediment between grains of sand. For years, scientists believed it was among our earliest ancestors. Around its mouth were rings of tiny holes once thought to be primitive gill slits, defining traits of deuterostomes, the group that includes vertebrates. But recent high-resolution imaging flipped that theory. Those gills turned out to be fractured bases of spines that broke off during fossilization. That placed Saccharitis not in our evolutionary line, but with ecdysozoans, a group including arthropods and nematodes, it had a flexible body, large mouth, no anus, and likely ate and expelled waste from the same opening. Despite its size, this one creature overturned a huge part of evolutionary theory. Saccharitis wasn't our ancestor. It was something entirely different, proving that nature is unique and very weird. Number 6. Otoya over 500 million years ago, in the shallow seas of what's now British Columbia, a small but efficient predator hid beneath the sand, Atoya. At just over three inches long, it wasn't impressive in size, but its body was a weapon. Shaped like a soft, segmented tube, it had a retractable proboscis lined with sharp hooks and teeth. This was its main hunting tool. It could extend the proboscis rapidly, seize its prey, and drag it straight into its mouth. Otoya lived in U-shaped burrows, providing a safe base to ambush prey like Haplophrentis. Fossils even show Otoya practiced cannibalism, a trait shared with modern priapulid worms, its closest living relatives. It thrived along the seafloor, and when underwater mudslides struck, many were instantly buried, leaving behind exceptionally preserved fossils in the Burgess Shale. While most evidence comes from this site, microscopic traces of its teeth suggest Otoya's kind spread far beyond. Number 5. Axolotl The axolotl's story defies the standard amphibian playbook. While most salamanders begin life in water and eventually leave it behind, axolotls never grow out of it. Millions of years ago, their ancestors followed the usual amphibian path, starting life with gills, later trading them for lungs. But the axolotl took a different turn. Instead of undergoing full metamorphosis, it keeps its feathery external gills and remains aquatic even as an adult. This condition, called neoteny, lets it reach sexual maturity while still holding on to its juvenile features. Unlike most salamanders, it doesn't metamorphose naturally, lacking the hormonal trigger to transition. Modern axolotls grow to about nine inches, with some reaching a foot. They have wide heads, lidless eyes, soft bodies, and elegant fan-shaped gills. They're also regeneration experts, capable of regrowing limbs, spinal cord tissue, even parts of their heart. From larva to adult without ever leaving the water, axolotls prove that staying the same can sometimes be evolution's winning move. Number 4. Glyptodon Glyptodon was a massive Ice Age mammal that once roamed South America. 
essentially an armadillo scaled up to the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. It measured up to 11 feet long, stood around 5 feet tall, and weighed nearly 2,000 pounds. Its ancestors were small, nimble, and capable of curling into a ball like today's armadillos. But over time, as they faced open plains and predators like saber-toothed cats, Glyptodon evolved bulk and armor. Its entire body was encased in a solid shell formed from fused bony plates called osteoderms, making it nearly impenetrable. Some species even developed a heavy clubbed tail, likely used for defense or battling rivals. It grazed on tough grass, grinding it down with flat molars. Though it lacked sharp teeth, its sheer size and protection discouraged most predators. Around 10,000 years ago, humans and shifting climates drove it to extinction. Today, only small armadillos remain. Number 3. Pam Delurian It lived during the Cambrian, measuring about two feet long, huge for that time. Discovered in Greenland's Sirius Passet fossil site, it evolved from simple lobopodians, soft-bodied animals with stubby legs and no gills. As it changed, it developed a strange mix of primitive and advanced features. Two flexible, soft frontal appendages extended from its head, likely sensory tools similar to antennae. Each of its 11 body segments carried a set of lobopod legs paired with gill-like lateral flaps, allowing it to crawl while also absorbing oxygen. Its mouth sat beneath its body as an oral cone, not designed for tearing but for suction feeding, backed by a muscular pharynx and digestive glands. This setup made Pamdelurian a bottom-dwelling predator, probably feeding on smaller arthropods. It represents a crucial step between lobopodians and true arthropods. With jointed limbs and gill structures just starting to emerge, Pamdelurian stands as a fossil link between worm-like early animals and the complex arthropods that would later rule Earth. Number 2. Dunkleosteus Dunkleosteus was an armored fish with a bite so fast and powerful it could crush bone in milliseconds. Its earliest ancestors were jawless, slippery, eel-like creatures floating through Devonian waters. But over millions of years, they developed bony head armor and thick plating around their upper bodies, like built-in helmets protecting vital parts and anchoring heavy jaw muscles. As the lineage advanced, jaws evolved into sharp, blade-like bony plates, acting as organic scissors capable of slicing through armor and bone alike. Most adults reached about 11 feet in length, while rare specimens topped 13 feet, weighing between 900 and 1,500 pounds. Its bite speed was clocked at around 50 to 60 milliseconds, delivering more force than any fish measured to date, strong enough to break shells or crush prey in a single snap. By combining thick armor with devastating bite strength, Dunkleosteus became the ultimate hunter of its era. Number 1. Tully Monster The Tully Monster had eyes on stalks, a claw-tipped snout, and a body that still refuses to be categorized. Back in 1955, fossil hunter Francis Tully cracked open a 300-million-year-old ironstone nodule near Braidwood, Illinois, and found something absolutely bizarre. It had a long, bendable snout ending in a pincer, paddle-shaped fins at the rear, and a horizontal bar with an eye at each end. No one had ever seen anything like it. Named Tullimonstrum gregarium, it's remained a mystery ever since. Hundreds of fossils have been found, all in Illinois, some up to 14 inches long. In 1989, it was declared the official state fossil. Over time, scientists guessed it was a worm, mollusk, arthropod, or chordate. It has a notochord and lamprey-like teeth, suggesting a vertebrate link, but new eye pigment studies point back to invertebrates. Even after decades of analysis, the Tully monster still dodges classification. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for hanging with us, and we'll see you in the next one.